Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 4. This is the Counting Nightmare, and today we're doing Mission 5. Devil May Cry. Mission 5. So last time I sold off a bunch of stuff so that I could afford Max Act. And then we got a ton of proud souls from the mission. <laughs> so I can buy everything back. That is Red Queen combo B. Oh, that poor thing. I'll keep selling it and rebuying it. I'll keep it this time. And split. And snatch three. Okay, so we've still got a whole bunch left over. So, I think it is time to get charge shot level three. Hell yes. This is a fantastic ability. It's so good. I cannot wait to show it off. And I'll pick up Roulette Spin as well. That's a fun air attack. And finally, we have a whole bunch of red orbs to spend. A blue orb. And you can see that our health bar has now spilled over into a second bar. By the time we max out our health, we'll have two full bars. So that's good. So last time we beat up Bale in the courtyard. Now we're in the graveyard. I love that cutscene. It's a great way to introduce an enemy. But these things are Mephistos. They have these big cloaks. Once you remove their cloaks though, you get to see their true form. Which is these little bugs. They're pretty helpless in that form. They're pretty good at running away from you though. Yeah. And it charge shot level 3. As you can see, he exploded. Charge shot level 3 leaves an after effect in them. A bomb. After a few moments they explode. I love it. It hurts like hell too. It does tons of damage. Fantastic. And our arm is glowing blue. Remember that Rasulka corpse we got last mission? That's what this does. It finds secrets for you. It alerts you to hidden red orbs and some other stuff too. That's kind of nice. So with those Mephisto enemies, uh, Snatch and Buster will remove their cloaks pretty well. Uh, Snatch takes more hits than Buster does, but Buster knocks them away from you, so it's a lot harder to remove their cloak with it. Charge Shot Level 3 is the best at doing it though. Okay. It's actually a pretty tricky jump here I'm going to do in a sec. I'll just finish destroying these little icicles. That had a huge green orb in it. Did you see that? That's nice. Alright, there's a red orb up there. And there's something else up there in the top left. How do we get up there? But the pretty tricky calibre, that's how. <laughs> Gotta line that up just right or you will fall. There we go. Alright, now we can go left or right. We'll go left. And we get a gold orb. That one's pretty tricky to get. But there was a red orb on the right. There's a much easier way of getting that orb though. Just like this. Snatch it. And it follows you. Anyway. Back to desecrating this graveyard. I think that's pretty much everything. And our arms are glowing blue again. What could it be this time? This time it's a secret mission. But we can't do this one just yet. I think you can, but um, it's a lot easier with an ability we get later on. So I'm going to be doing that later. The Master's Chamber. 
which is guarded by Bianco Angelos. I love how these guys just pop up in random spots. Well, it's not random, it's predetermined. It seems random. He went boom. You see how much damage charge that level 3 does. It also stuns everything that's near the explosion. So it's, it's amazing crowd control. if you're charged at level 3 because your arm glows red instead of uh, blue or purple. Anyway, destroy a few things in here. And also if you're holding a charge shot your arm doesn't glow from secrets. I only just noticed that recently. But there's a secret mission in here. So we must be up to secret mission number 10. What? Don't worry, we didn't miss a bunch of secret missions. It's just got a weird number. But in this one, we play with gyro blades again. Yes! So, see that object there? We have to destroy five of those. So this one, I don't know why it's number 10. It makes me think that maybe this was, uh, this secret mission was actually going to be something else. Then they changed it at the last minute. Maybe it was meant to be a secret mission for Dante. But anyway, there's an object there. You can always come in here and grab this green orb to refill your health. These rooms are basically just the same as, mostly the same as they are in the actual missions. And you can see we still have three more to get. They're all down the end. Something that confused me a bit about secret missions is um didn't mean for it to go there, but there was an object here. Now it's gone. <laughs> but so don't go through any doors or anything when you're in a secret mission. You're not supposed to. It's not too bad with this particular mission, but um there's one later on that really confused me when I first did it. Don't know what didn't know what to do, went through a door and immediately got failed. <laughs> Anyway, there's our last object. And there's our reward. Oh hell yeah, another blue orb. Haha, <laughs> I think we've got more than enough health, don't you? Hell yeah. Onwards. Back in the torture chamber. Now we're at a switch that we couldn't get to before. And we get to play with this gyro beam. Look at this walkway. It looks pretty precarious. I'm gonna jump off. You can't. <laughs> she can't fall off, so. It's not too scary. Whoops. And a gyro blade can't fall off either. Can you imagine how annoying that would be? You'd be kind of screwed, actually. Not sure how you would fix that. But anyway, there was an object on the other end of this bridge. Let's destroy it. Destroying that cracked floor from before. And now we're in the spiral well with some Mephistos. They're really making sure we get to play around with these enemies. <laughs> yes, Charge Shot Level 3 has to be the best way of removing their clothes. Snatch and Buster are great though. Here's Roulette. I haven't gotten to show that off yet. Alright, here comes another Mephisto. Or is it? Nope, this is the big brother, the Forced. And this guy is really nasty. 
Yes, everything in this game has a big brother. <laughs> you can see that took quite a bit to remove this cloak. Yes, yeah, quite a bit more health too. Jeez. This attack's pretty scary. Sends all these little things out here. Don't know what they are, but they are nasty. It doesn't do that a whole lot on lower difficulties. And these guys can go right through walls. <laughs> which can make it a little annoying sometimes to fight them. Get in here. I'm trying to kill you. Yes, the buster on these guys isn't very interesting. Just got a really standard sort of thing. Anyway. Tiny little green orb in there. And a switch in there we can't do anything with yet. And a goodie. We can Talisman. So can we fly now? Mm, sort of. Now use these bouncy pads. Boing. And there was a secret here. Yeah, there's a lot to find in this world, actually. I'll just go collect it all. So Nero is a uh, charge shop level three. Uh, if you want to get better at Nero, um, I would recommend just learning how to use charge shop level three well. The Exceed system is good and all, it's, it's really quite nice, but um, getting to use Charge Shot level 3 all the time, that will make a huge difference to your damage output. So yeah, I would recommend just uh, remapping it to a button that, that's comfortable for you to hold. I use default, but you could use like a trigger button or whatever. What's that little blue thing there? That's the Holy Water. Would you have guessed that? I wouldn't have. I found that completely by accident. Anyway, up we go. And there's that red orb there. See, there's a red orb under that platform. That's pretty sneaky. Oh, I just missed it. And right at the top here, there's actually a vital star. We've got enough freebies this mission. I think so. Up we go. Cool. Managed to destroy that entire floor. Good work, us. Back to the torture chamber. Oh, a frost. Now, I must remember not to use level 3 high roller here. That can actually cause you to hit the roof and hit the spikes. <laughs> it happened last time. It was annoying. We've got a fun mix of enemies here. A Frost and Mephistos. Three Mephistos, oh. Not sure how that didn't hit me. Yeah, you can hit that little needle thing, just to uh, stun them for a second. Doesn't do a whole lot to them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to know. Bang! Fun group damage here. Ooh, another Frost. I only just recently discovered too that when you bust a Frost, that's a normal buster. But you can actually mash the button to spin her around several times. Like this. Now, thanks for covering my screen, Mephisto. You're next. Oh. <laughs> I love Charge at level 3 so much. The explosion just completely annihilated him. Bang! Good god! That was so much fun. Okay. On we go. And more enemies. I'm gonna wait here. <laughs> yes, they're frosts. One time I just ran out past the corner and a frost just leaped out of nowhere and slashed me. It was actually really funny. Especially because I had someone watching me play at the time. <laughs> Almost. I'm not sure how he didn't hit me there, but that's okay. So charge shot level 3 makes frost so much easier. 
It has amazing crowd control properties on them. You see, it just stuns them for ages. That's enough recharging out of you. I can't stop doing that throw now. Once you learn you can mash Buster during a throw, it's hard not to. It's way more fun. Also, when you're spinning them around like that, it actually hurts enemies around you. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway. Let's collect all of the red orbs in this hallway. And these gyro blades are all here. You can target them, but you can't actually use them. That's a bit weird. And you can go back out into the courtyard where you fought Bale, but there's nothing actually there. So that's kind of boring. Alright, that's all the red orbs in here. I think. Yes. Ooh, it's vibrating. Maybe I got a message. We could finish the mission right now if you want. But there's red orbs to collect. It was pointed out by a couple people in the thread that there's another way of getting this as Nero. Using roulette spin. So let's see if I can pull that off. I'm not too good at doing this method. Ooh, that took me way too many tries. That's a lot harder than doing the uh, Exceed Level 3 one. But Exceed Level 3 is pretty expensive, so... And now for the Chair Massacre. And that's all. So, up we go. Slash. Nero. You're a bit of a dick. <laughs> the guy is dead. Have some bloody respect. But there is a hidden stairway back here. That's a little dodgy. And another item. Jeez. Tons of stuff in this mission. Tons of freebies. Underground laboratory. Ooh. Awakened. Credo. My men are currently in pursuit of Dante. It is only a matter of time before his location is revealed. <sighs> he came to us. It was fortunate I was able to participate in the Ascension Ceremony. His Holiness! You look magnificent! You sent that cocky kid Nero to find Dante? You question my command. Yes! What shall be for me? Should he stumble upon my research facility? Our priority is to capture Dante. Why, you... Greater. Yes, Your Holiness. K 
Gather everyone. I must ease their minds on this matter. Of course. Right, we're supposed to be finding Dante, aren't we? <laughs> I kind of forgot. And holy crap, how is he still alive? That's quite an evil old man. So that mission wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't too great, was it? It's pretty much just to get us from point A to point B. But now we're at point B, so... Tons of interesting stuff happens in the next mission. I hope you join me for it. Because it's really cool. See ya.